In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create stunning map animation in CapCut, just like this one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Open CapCut and create a new project. Here we have a picture of a world map. Let's add it to the timeline. Now let's go to the text, click on plus, add the text to the timeline. Go to the text entry window and type around 20 dashes. Dashes will represent our point A to point B distance. Adjust the position as needed. Now scroll down until you get to curve section. Click to enable it and now reposition where the curve is going to be. Tilt and position it from point A which is United States to point B Australia. Leave enough room for location icon which will be added in the next step. Now we need to choose our icon. Go to sticker. Now type in location. Select the animated location icon. Reposition icon to the point A, which is United States. Now we need to create our point B location icon. Hold on to your Alt key, click and drag the location layer and place it above. Click on the first location icon and drag it to the point B, which is Australia. Reposition the location icons as needed. Now we need to add our airplane. Go to the stickers and type airplane. Here you have so many different options for airplane. Some of them are animated and some of them are not. I like this blue and white plane color and I'm going to add it to the timeline. Expand the length of other layers to the world map layer. Now we need to reposition our airplane resize in point A. Make sure the plane is right on the dotted line. Now go to your last frame on the timeline and drag the airplane all the way to the point B, which is Australia. Reposition the plane on the dotted line. Now we need to create our first keyframe. Go to Basic, go to Transform, enable it, and it will automatically turn on the other related keyframes. Now drag the airplane to the point A, which is United States. Reposition it, and make sure it stays on the dotted line. When you scrub the timeline, you'll notice the airplane does not stay on the dotted line and we need to make it to stay within the curved line. Place the plane in the middle of the distance. I would say some place over here is great. When you're repositioning the plane, make sure you hold the shift key and drag the plane on the dotted line. Plane is not exactly traveling along the dotted line. So take the plane to the middle of the timeline and right click on the keyframe and go to show animation. Go to the Y angle, click on the diamond and click on other curve. That makes the animation go a lot smoother. The preview shows the plane goes off course almost right there. Hold your shift key and drag the plane all the way until it meets the dotted line. Now run the preview and see how it looks. There's a little bit of glitch there. So what we need to do, click on a diamond, click on other curve, and the animation is a lot smoother. No problem. Now right click to hide the animation speed path. So whenever you make any changes to the curve line, make sure you click on diamond and click on other curve. That helps to recalculate the path 
over the curve line for the smoother playback. Let's give some kind of movement to the started line. The next step is to add animation. Click the animation tab and go through all the options. The ones with purple icon on the left corner only accessible through Pro Plan. Set the animation slider all the way to the right to cover the entire clip. Go through each animation and select the one you like. Depending on how snazzy you want your animation to look, pick the right one for your project. I kind of like this one because it gives you a nice golden lighted animation to the fly path. This one is also nice because it gives you this nice multicolored rainbow effect. This one gives you lighted LEDs. And this one gives you a fairy dust effect. This effect is nice because it gives you a bunch of little stars. And this one gives you a highway effect. It gives you this nice solid white background against the fly path. And the nicest thing about this effect is it goes purple as it completes the fly path. I also like this effect. And this is very interesting. It combines all the characters and completes the path. This one gives you the rail effect. This one is like laying the brakes effect. CapCut gives you so much animation to choose from. Go through every one of them and select the one you desire. Let me show you tricks so you could have perfect timing for your animation. For example, this leap in animation, the dotted lines go so much ahead of the plane. And we need to make sure the dotted lines stay in the back of the plane, not so much in the front. Before making any changes, make sure the animation slider is all the way to the right. Now expand the text clip. Scrub the timeline to make sure the timing is okay. And adjust the slider all the way to the right. Check the animation timing. If it's needed, you can decrease the duration. Dotted lines are revealed slowly. So I'm going to decrease the animation duration to 6 seconds to speed it up. This looks a lot better now. We can always use animation type 1. Search the animation directory for animation called type 1. This animation reveals each character one at a time, which is perfect for this project. Now I want to show you another method for animation. We're going to use mask for animation. What you do is go ahead and decrease the text timeline to match the others. Text layers by default do not have any mask options. So you need to turn that into a compound clip. Right click and create a compound clip. Now go to video tab and select mask and select horizontal. Rotate the mask to 90 degrees. Now I want to create a fade effect for the dotted line behind the plane. Drag the feather slider until you see a little faded effect. This looks good. Go to first frame in the timeline, grab the mask effect, and go to the middle of the plane, right there. When you run the timeline, you don't see any dotted path is because the mask has covered it. We now need to create our first mask animation. Go to the last frame of the clip and drag the mask all the way to the middle of the plane, right there. Now we're gonna preview the timeline. When you run the timeline, you can see the dotted line is being revealed. As the mask travels through the screen, the dotted lines are being revealed at the same time. Adjust the feather as needed. 
this method is a great substitute if you don't want to use the text animation mask effect exactly does the same thing but it doesn't give you all those fancy stuff congratulations now you have learned how to do map animation in CapCut. Please watch other tutorials offered to you at the end of this clip and I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.